The wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have cost us almost 7,000 brave men and women. And I know we have at least one gold star mother here today. But the cost of those wars, as Tulsi was just reminding us, goes well beyond those who never came home. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of men and women who went off to war, who came home not only without legs or sight or hearing, but came home with a very, very difficult, debilitating set of issues, either PTSD, post-traumatic stress, or traumatic brain injury. Many of the men and women who served in Iraq and Afghanistan were exposed to the IEDs, to these bombs. And you may not have been killed, maybe you were knocked to the ground, but you go through that time and time again, it does something, and by the way, the National Football League is learning this lesson right now, that that brain injury, the constant battering that the ball players face, very similar to what the men and women in the military face when these bombs are going off. Turns out that hundreds of thousands came home with post-traumatic stress disorder, being in combat, seeing the guy next to them having his head blown off, or in fact taking a life doing things which human beings do not normally or naturally do. And this stays with you for your whole life. I will never forget, 25 years ago, we did a veterans meeting in Randolph, Vermont. 25 years ago, we had a bunch of veterans and their wives and girlfriends sitting around a table. And a woman gets up and she says, her husband served in World War II, still has nightmares of hand-to-hand -hand combat that he experienced in World War II, years, decades after he came home, still has nightmares. In fact, can't remember who said it, she was almost strangled by her husband who woke up in the middle of the night and thought that he was under attack. Those things never leave. And it is not an easy illness to deal with, no question about that. But we have the moral obligation to provide the resources we need, and we're making some gains. We are learning about how to better deal with this issue. But we have got to stay with our veterans, have the resources available, and make sure that they get all of the treatment they need. And let me just conclude by saying this. If you think that PTSD or TBI or loss of legs or the issues that people come home with from war only affects the warrior, you will be sorely, sorely, and painfully ignorant of the reality of what's happening. Because often as not, there are family. There's a wife back home, there's a kid back home. And if a veteran is unable to go out and get a job because of PTSD, it affects, it impacts his marriage, her marriage, impacts the lives of the children. So this is beyond just the warrior himself or herself. And if we are, and I think uh, it was said earlier, and I've said this on the floor of the Senate many, many times, if we don't have the resources or the inclination to stand with our veterans when they come home, then we will never and should never send them off in the first place.